All right, that was the second last match of the evening. We do, of course, still have um, Agony Empire versus Pandemic Legion, which I'm really looking forward to. Yes. Um, how come they suddenly, after nine minutes, break the tank? Uh, I mean, I think with like situations like that where target switching is going to be the way to do it, it, it doesn't... You never know when. I mean, it's like mm. they can keep testing that for a long time and somebody will slip up eventually. It also... Uh, has you know there's other variables like tracking if, if it just so yeah. happens that they happen to switch while the malediction was in a good spot transversal wise they get good volleys off the slip nerves and that's enough to finish it so it's just the the amount of difference between like the damage difference between regular play where they're catching reps versus you're waiting for a rep cycle mm -hmm. you're overheated you've got all you're like focusing on everyone's getting their transversal right to this one single malediction the damage you can get like t twice the damage mm -hmm. if you're doing all those things correctly Yep. And just well, came together. Dark side second match in this tourney where they've had, you know, less than five points. Yeah. 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 They lost this time though, and it kinda and like as I predicted, yeah, they brought true. one of their own setups and they lost. If they would have bought, brought PL's setup against this, they probably would have won. Is that is that the secret to winning matches? <laughs> <laughs> Bring setups of t really good teams. Yeah, but I mean, you have that, to that's be able to score been the points. Secret. Yeah. Like, yeah. if you've if you've had to, if you've lost one match and you've had two others where you can't really score more than like three points, it is really to be I mean, fair. It, triple dummies sh should kill support on the other team. Well, the, I feel like Dark Side particularly, it's interesting they're willing to do this because they had a match that this exact thing happened and they got lucky and got mm. through. Yeah, like they've gotten close to losing a match because of this exact situation already. Yeah. And they got lucky and got through, and then they went ahead and did it again. Yeah. Um, just seems very risky. I mean, it I'm kind of surprised that they would do that. But yeah. And Ro I mean, Ronan played it really smart. Mm -hmm. I think Ronan was the first team to really attack drones from a Dami team. Yes. They were really committed to just clearing drones off throughout yes. the entire match, and that just made it more and more likely that they would win somehow, mm -hmm. whether it's in tie-dye or before that. So mm -hmm. they deserve a lot of credit, I think. Well, and whatever their basilisk pilot did to stay alive throughout the, you know, the early yeah. onslaught, yeah. because I've seen it in practice where a basilisk will get two shot by a triple dummy team, yep. and that's it. Yep. He caught really high transversal as fast as he could. They weren't in guard range at start, like he was getting shot by curators. Yeah. And yeah. he just caught, caught the right angle to come in, and he came in tight, and by then everything else was there and able to wipe the guards off yeah. immediately. What's weird to me though is he was under new pressure from the Dommies for like the entire match. Yeah. And he shouldn't be he, getting tons of cap transfer from got the out slippers, of it. right? He got out of it. Out of the new pressure. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, he was there for a while. Yeah. Though. Yeah. Like he shouldn't be getting any support. He's not part of a tinker team where they're feeding no. him tons of cap. So it's surprising that he was able to sustain mm -hmm. through that. I mean, but like But the DPS was so low. Yeah, right. Ronin, he right, wasn't right, burning yeah. through that. Ronin much cap. like Ronin forced them to drop carriers because of the range. Well mm -hmm. got well got lucky in that they weren't at close beacons, so they dropped yeah. carriers for range. Then everyone on Ronin charged in, like if like they don't drop their curators and drop like abandon their curators and drop guards, which they did. They did, <clears throat> but by then Ronin was like, just kill all the guards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. You don't have, no, you don't have another there is kind of, well, you can reconnect to the curators. Yeah. So and there there is that issue, especially. But here's the thing: since they're tinker, they're not moving. So they're sitting on top of curators, sitting on top of guards. So right. once they do burn through those guards, right. the curators are in the exact same spot, and it's not like the Slepners need to burn mm -hmm. off to be able right. to clear those. So yeah. long game, really smart play by, uh, by the Ronin to pull yeah. that out. Mm -hmm. Ronin going for another second place? Yeah, it's awesome. Shooting high. All right, <laughs> uh, let's get the cards up for the next two alliances that are fighting here. It's Agony Empire and it's Pandemic Legion. And uh, man, Total Agony. damage done. That is a large number. Hundred and seventy yes. billion. That's one way to. Uh, that's one way to get a kill mail. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, so PL was specifically said. Apparently, Seamus has actively been heard to say that he really doesn't want to fight Agony. Yeah. Because he thinks they're too wild card, unpredictable. Like he. So yeah. it'll be interesting to see what happens in this match. If Pandemic brings like a really safe setup, that they feel like. Yeah. I don't think. Yeah. yeah, I don't think there's any way to know what Agony's gonna bring. They've I don't been think, all over the place. I don't think I Agony knows what they're gonna bring. Yeah. <laughs> they're really good. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't I feel. Don't, I, I don't know if PL has anything above and beyond what they've already shown us, but that that Gila Ishtar setup, mm. it's pretty good. Yeah. It's good, but I I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised at all if Agony was able to beat it. I mean, they've they've been really strong yeah. and. Seems like they have a lot of different tools, and I would think that they would, 
expect to have to fight against that. So I I don't know. I'd like I think Peel are, are probably the better team, but still, like Agony seemed like they they on a good day can beat anyone right now. And uh, okay. there was some loud sighing yeah. from the yeah. commentator Ooh, booth in the commentator yeah. booth that we could hear. So I'm actually now really. Re <laughs> I, be quiet. I don't know if there's some coitus going on back there, but uh, Something's it happening. sounds kind of like there's some moaning. It's sort yeah. of spooky, actually. Uh, there, it, can right. you imagine if Shadu uh, was like making spooky noises in your house when I, you were I, trying to sleep? I know what's going on. It is Peel, <laughs> yeah. who uh, are pretty intent on winning this, yeah. <laughs> so they've put an address to you on the field. Nice. Well, I don't actually think they're that good in a tournament format, but I'll, they, maybe they'll prove me wrong. Yeah. They're really good for making me really happy in a tournament format. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they're Absolutely. the one I've always wanted to see. They seem like one of the coolest. I've always said, so... You and I had to sit through two straight tournaments of hearing nothing but Adrestia set up stories. Yeah, these like, silly peel guys have claimed that they have really powerful Adrestia setups like in their pocket for a couple tournaments now, and they never, they never bring them. Well, we got it now. Here, it's here. All right, let's get the predictions, Brent. I mean, if there's Adrestia, no, Peel's gonna lose this. Peel's gonna lose this. <laughs> I'm uh, definitely rooting for Agony, but I think Peel will win. I'm... Oh, takes his glasses off. <laughs> Gonna have to say. Tell Which about camera? PL. Which camera? PL. PL. Right. PL. I think that uh, PL with tournament ships is probably a safe bet, although uh, Agony are kind of the awesome underdog story here. I'm gonna go with PL. I'm gonna be the cynical corporation guy that just goes with the big dogs, or something. Dogs are fun.